What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to improve and optimize the search results from your WordPress website for free, okay? And without coding, so no need to worry about working with PHP codes or anything like this. We're gonna make this simple, okay? But before we can start, please Take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us and motivates us to keep bringing videos every single day explaining how to use WordPress and optimize your site, okay? And after this, let's start the video. And we're gonna start on our WordPress dashboard. As usual, we're gonna start all on dashboard. And from the dashboard, I would like to go back to my home page so I can show you this is a search field present on our Enzo free WordPress team and as you can see it's a simple search you need to type your keyword type enter and the WordPress is gonna feedback you on the result okay simple as it is the search changes according to the team that we are using but normally it's something like this whoever there is a better solution for this and this is what we're gonna learn Go back to our WordPress dashboard and navigate to plugins, okay? Once on plugins, click on add new. Once right here, review the upper right corner into the search plugins field and type this. Ajax search light. And this is the, the plugin by Ernest. Thank you, Ernest, if you are watching this video, you made a great tool, okay? Congratulations. And after click on installing, click on activate button. WordPress gonna automatically redirect you to the WordPress plugins page list. And as you can review, into the end of your left side of menus, you're gonna be able to see a new button called Ajax Search Lite. Click on it, okay? Just click on it. And let's review, we are on general settings and the source and basics. Try to replace the team search with Ajax search light form. Yes, set as on. Try to replace the WooCommerce search with Ajax search light form. On. Simple as it is, okay? Go to the very finish of this page, to the footer, and click on save options. Just this. Simple and easy. Can you see? That is the upper right corner of my navigation screen. The search field did change. Now if I type anything into the search, let me search for example for blog. The results already appear into the search form. This is an Ajax result, okay? And as you can see, we have the title of the post, the featured image, and the description. So, title, image, and description. And if you click on it, you're gonna be redirected to the post. This plugin works great. There is a way to apply the search, for example, let's imagine that I would like to search into the middle of my page, I can apply the search using this plugin, using the short code. I'm gonna display this in a later video, in the case that someone wants, just let me know in the comments below. But let's explore a little bit more about the plugin. After going to the, after enabling the plugin, we're gonna be able to say to the plugin, what results we would like to show. For example, actually we are showing, if someone searches, we are showing posts and pages. However, we can show, for example, products in the case that you want. Just click on it, find the, post, the custom post type. What are custom post type? Portfolio, team, events, products of WooCommerce, forums, okay? so. This as all, those are all custom post types and you can make the custom post type searchable as well. We can search in permalinks, search by IDs, we can search all custom fields. All you need to do is set as on, okay? 
let me save change. If you do not want that the page results appears on the search, you can just click on it, drag and drop to this other part right here, okay? Simple as it is. Now let's explore the another nice option that is the layout options. Normally it came with this layout, but we can change for example to this one that is very fancy. We can edit the widget into the mobile, for example, in the case that you want, you can edit the widget, you can edit the font, you can edit the size. Let me save change. And here is the search field now. If I type anything, for example, While typing, the plugin gonna search for results for you. Very useful, okay? There is more options, of course. We can edit the results layout in the case that we want. The results behavior, the keyword, highlighting, this is nice. The plugin gonna highlight the keyword. For example, imagine that right here we are searching for a term, for example, WordPress. You are searching for WordPress. So you're gonna display the, the, the plugin, gonna display the post is related to WordPress, but gonna also highlight into a head color that we can customize the word WordPress, okay? The text. Here's where to change the word color. We have other nice fields, for example, the front end. We can show the search settings into the front end in the case that I want. Let's explore a little bit more. We can integrate with Google Analytics in the case that I want. For example, okay. We can go to the compatibility settings. This came in this way and I do not recommend that you change it unless you are having problems with some plugin, for example, but I do not recommend that you try to change this. The performance option. This is good. I have a recommendation for you. Right here, okay, we have the crop image for caching. Where turn it off, it disable thumbnail generator and the full-sized images are used as cover. Not much difference visually, but saves a lot of CPU, okay? So it's good to keep this as in the way that it came. I just have much to say about this plugin, so I will continue this guide into another video explaining how to apply the search code into the page, but Let's explore a little bit more. Show exact match only. In the case that you want to show only the exact related e search, you can set this as on. But I do not recommend. We can change the ordering by reference, by title, by date, by menu order, random, and this even a secondary order. The autocomplete suggestion, this is very nice, okay? They use the Google Autocomplete Engine API. For example, in the case that I type, for example, right here, I did type page. Can you see a little word? For example, word. Can you see a little word that appears while we are searching? They, they use the, some results from Google based on Google API to autocomplete your search, okay? 
So if you just type a little tab on your screen, you can complete. Nice, right? And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the Visual Modo Borderless WordPress plugin. And so I recommend that you download the Borderless WordPress plugin. It's a free plugin, okay? You can download for free on WordPress.org. And this plugin is gonna apply more widgets, elements, templates, and more tools to a WordPress website independently of the page builder that you are using, okay? In addition, in the case that you want a team fully compatible with this amazing search plugin and have a site like this one that I'm using in my demonstra demonstration, you can download our Enzo free WordPress team, okay? It's the best free WordPress team that you can download. Moreover, in the case that you are without time to spend working on your site, creating your page, go to visualmodo.com and review the Visual Moto Pass or the Pro versions of our product so you can start with a pre-built website with a single click only and have a fully equipped website just like one of these ones that I'm showing ready from the beginning for your site, landing page, sales page, business page, okay? So, it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best!